Oh my gosh, cannot share. How to share? Oh, but it's so good. But you must share. Share or don't share? Buy one. We have lots of mooncakes to try. And which one will be the fairest of them all? Stay tuned to find out. So as you can see, we've got lots of mooncakes to try. Uh, most of it is snow skin. We've got a box of the traditional baked mooncakes here. Because of temperature reasons, we will try the snow skin first. I'm very very intrigued because honestly, although Janice Wong is so famous, I have not eaten any of her desserts before. So this will be the first time I'll be trying out something from Janice Wong and I'm really really excited. Okay, so it comes in a few flavours um, and the great thing about this year's mooncakes is that they are in collaboration with Thai Sun, which is a local homegrown snacks brand. So it is part of Thai Sun's 55th anniversary and there are different things inside. For example, there's yuzu, cranberry, mung bean, pecan, pistachio, coconut pecan, roasted almonds, gula malacca paste with macadamia. So four of it is the snow skin and then four are the chocolate mooncakes. So for the chocolate mooncakes, we have very very interesting flavours such as the peanut butter snickers. Ooh, I love snickers. Coconut vanilla biscoff, which is this one. Caramelized sea salt pecan dark chocolate. And last but not least, the coffee chocolate. So this is the inside of the yuzu cranberry. I was expecting it to be a bit more zesty. It is a little bit hot. I wish there was a bit more yuzu flavour. I like the cranberry bits. It's very smooth but it's just a little bit doughy in my opinion. Next is the mung bean pecan pistachio. So, mung bean. I actually prefer this to the yuzu. The green bean flavour is not too sweet. It's very nice as the filling. And then there's the crunch of the pistachio, which adds another flavour profile. I love the pecans as well. It gives you that very nutty flavour together. So far, yes, I do like the mung bean one. Next is the coconut pecan roasted almond. You can see the inside. This reminds me of those agar agar that you eat when you were younger. I'm not sure whether you guys eat, you know, the white layer is coconut and on top you've got a green layer. This kind of reminds me of that. With, of course, the crunch coming from the pecan and the almonds, but not overpowering the coconut at all. Last but not least, Gula Malacca Macadamia. You can definitely see the chunks of macadamia inside. Mmm! It is the sweetest of course because there's Gula Malacca inside. But it's not overpowering. I love the macadamia inside because I love macadamia nuts in general. But somehow with this combination, it really brings out that almost coconutty flavour of Gula Malacca. The paste is very smooth but it's not hard, not stiff and it doesn't have that doughy flavour unlike the first one, the yuzu cranberry. Let's go on to the chocolate. Okay, I want to try the peanut butter Snickers because <laughs> I like Snickers. Oh, I broke it. Yep. I keep up trying to cut it. I'm sorry I'm like doing horrible things to the chocolate but you can see the peanut butter, you can see the chocolate um, uh, the chocolate sponge inside with the salted caramel as well. I'm just gonna eat it straight. Mm. Love that they chose dark chocolate. 
that everything doesn't taste too sweet. It really tastes almost like a sneakers bar, but a more refined version and less sweet. Let's now try the coconut vanilla biscoff. Now I'm not going to bother with cutting it, I'm just going to take a bite straight. I do find this very sweet, maybe because I only took one bite, I can't taste the coconut. But it's nice, I'm sure children who like the sweeter stuff will enjoy this a lot. Ooh, caramelized sea salt pecan dark chocolate. I feel some sort of crystallized sugary texture which I think is coming from the sea salt caramel. I'm not sure, or is it the pecan? But I just taste a lot of dark chocolate. You can't really complain about it, but it's not as complex as the other chocolate mooncakes. And then last but not least, we've got coffee. So yes, coffee and chocolate goes so well together. All the taste of it brings me back to so, you know when you just walk into a cafe, they're grinding the coffee and you just have that waft of coffee smell. This is good. I like the coffee. And I'm not a coffee drinker. <laughs> okay, that's all from the Janice Wong. Generally, they are good. But as I said, not too impressed with the yuzu cranberry. I think it could be a bit more zesty. I would like a stronger yuzu tang and not so doughy. We're gonna try Pine Garden. <clears throat> so they gave me two flavors. The pink one is red bean rose melon seeds. The rose is so fragrant. The red bean is so smooth and I love the texture with the melon seed. It makes it taste less gelat. This is nice. Reminds me of a little bit of bandung without the milk. Next up is Gula Melaka with coconut mochi. So ooh. I might end up comparing it with the Janice Wong one because of the Gula Malaka. It is a little bit harder to cut through because of the mochi center. But let's lift it up. And let's see the mochi center. They nailed it on the coconut taste. And because it goes very well with the Gula Malaka, it reminds me of a traditional dessert where you have Gula Malaka and coconut cream. And um, you have little mochi balls inside. Yeah, maybe I would have preferred like smaller mochi balls inside. But one bit mochi is also pretty good, I guess. These are good flavors. So next up is one degree fifteen Marina Cove. We've got Yuzu Lotus, <clears throat> Lady Isfahan, Grand Marnier Chocolate, and Premium Mao Shang Wang. I'm guessing either one of these is the user. And I like that the box comes with a drawer and it comes with a set of knives as well as little forks. Very easy to cut through. Oh, I see what looks like cranberry inside as well. Here goes. Mmm. Reminds me of Longan's meats cranberry. It's quite refreshing. I love the burst of the tanginess that comes through. So it doesn't taste like you are overwhelmed by a lotus paste or anything. It's very fruity. Then this must be the yuzu. This is the tang that I was looking for, which I didn't get in the Janice Wong Yuzu Cranberry. It is zesty enough without being overpowering. The melon seeds are a great texture. There's not too much of the skin, although I do like the skin, but it's not doughy. And it's zesty, tangy, and very refreshing, which is what we all love 
yuzu. Already giving two thumbs up to the yuzu. Now we're going to the chocolate. <clears throat> Ooh, this is harder to cut through. I suspect there is a chocolate truffle center. No, I'm not right. There is no chocolate truffle center, but it is solid chocolate. This looks like a brownie. It cuts almost like a brownie. The chocolate is crumbling all over. I do see that there are some little, I'm assuming, either chocolate balls or rice balls inside. Um, let's try. They are rice balls. The chocolate is very, very strong, bitter. Then only after that you have that sweet aftertaste. It's crumbling all over the place. So that's why I say it kind of resembles more like a brownie to me right now than cake. But in terms of flavour, it's really good. Now, we are going for the durian ones. The Mao Shan Wang. I can smell it <clears throat> when I open. Very soft centre. So I'm guessing that it's... Um, they didn't mix it with lotus paste. So you can take a look. Oh no, it's falling off again. It's just the cream, like that. The only disappointment that I have now is the skin that covers the most and more. It's not your typical snow skin. It's a bit spongy. I don't know, it doesn't quite add to the flavour of the durian. That's the main drawback for me actually. So we are going to continue with the whole Mao Shan Wang durian because we have Aroma Truffle. So Aroma Truffle, year on year, what they've done is to come up with their truffle durian mooncakes. Um, but this year apparently they have done things a little bit differently. So they've got two types of skin, like they've got the white mochi snow skin and they've got the black truffle charcoal snow skin. For the white one, the truffle, the black truffle is in the durian paste. For the black one, the truffle is in the skin, which they have the black charcoal as well. So they're individually packed because can you imagine the smell of the truffle and the durian? Oh my gosh, the smells! Ah, oh, I can just sit here and just sniff. I wish there was something called smell -a vision Then you can smell the wasp of truffle that hits you, followed by the smell of the Mao Shan Wang that hits you. Oh, the smell is just amazing. They, they too have done a little bit of gold dust. It looks like a truffle, doesn't it? Mm. The durian that they use is just so flavorful. The skin is perfect. It's not too thick, it's not too thin. And because it has a truffle, when you're chewing everything together, it just blends nicely. So you get a bit of a sweet and slight savouriness from the skin because of the truffle. This is so good. So, so, so good. I kid you not. The smell isn't as strong as the black one. Maybe because I think the truffle is inside the filling. So the mochi kind of like keeps the smells inside. This kind of reminds me of uh, brie or camembert. What? I see something else inside that is a bit like orangey. I think that's the truffle. Yeah, that's a truffle. <laughs> okay, don't talk to me. This aroma truffle durian mooncake 
just wait. This is the best durian room I've ever eaten. With the mochi skin, you still get that mochi texture. So good. So, so good. Oh my gosh, cannot share. How to share? Oh, but it's so good. But you must share. Share, I want share. Buy one. Off myself. But I want to share. Because good stuff, I share. Well, they say once open, needs to be consumed within 24 hours. So, um, yeah. You know where the two durian ones are that I just opened, I have to eat them within 24 hours, right? So it's not like I don't want to share, it's more like I can't share. It's time to go for the traditional baked mooncakes. So these are from Pine Garden and Pine Garden is always known to just churn out traditional goodness they have been innovating the past few years, of course, but still very true to their traditional roots. They give you very interesting flavor profiles, but yet keeping to their standard of goodness. <clears throat> They've got baked skin white lotus with two yolks, baked longjing with canton pearls. Um, what's the next one? Big pandan jade coconut dodol, big sesame seed with mochi. Okay, I'm not gonna bother doing the white lotus because I have tasted Pine Gardens white lotus before. It is good. It's not too sweet as usual. So let's not taste that because I'm sure you guys are more interested in all the interesting new flavors that they have out this season. So which one shall we start off first? Uh, coconut dodol, pandan jade. See, I love how they play with local flavors and rethink it, reimagine it as a mooncake. So they have the coconut dodol inside, and then you've got the pandan jade with black sesame seeds inside. They're baked. Mooncake's skin is never too thick, as you can see from the side profile. The thickness is just nice. You don't want to eat something that's just too much of the skin, right? But too little is also not a great idea. This is, to me, the perfect balance. The dodo gives that mochi mochi feeling. The jade is quite, is pandan, right? So it's almost like eating kaya in a firmer version. It goes very well with the coconut dodo. Let's try the long jing with tan tan pearls. So long jing is basically green tea from long jing. And whenever you eat mooncakes, you would actually drink tea along with it. Plus you just cut back on all the sugar, the oil. So yes, see it is green. And you can see the canton pearls inside. I actually really like the canton pearls. I wish there was more of it inside. Again, it's, it's the one that's giving the texture. The smell and flavor of the Longjing tea is so fragrant. You would almost mistake it for jasmine. The difference is that it's a lot thicker. But that green tea taste is a lot thicker. Whereas jasmine has a definitely obviously more floral and doesn't have that tea tea flavor. Last but not least is the black sesame. I think I've tasted this before. And they've come up with variations of this. This is my favorite. This is like drinking or eating the dessert in a cake version. We have come to the end of our mooncake tasting. So, what would I recommend? If you want to go for durian mao shang mong and have the smells, the wonderfulness of the flavors and everything, go for aroma truffle. If you want something that's a bit more traditional but a play on traditional flavors in a mooncake, 
then High Garden might be something for you, especially they have the big versions mm, that are very interesting. They also have your normal ones, of course. So, try and test that Pine Garden. I must say that 1 degree 15 is not too bad either. The box is definitely a lot more presentable in the sense like you can reuse it to put knickknacks in the drawer. The Yuzu one I think is the most outstanding. So if I were given a choice to buy one whole box of snow skin from 1 degree marina, I would just choose the Yuzu and the Lady Ipsana. Apologies if I'm pronouncing it wrongly. Because I think these two flavours were the most outstanding out of the four. For Janice Wong, I like the flavour profiles. The only disappointment, as I said, was the Yuzu Cranberry. The chocolate series were great. The thing is that you can't share it uh, individually, you can't cut it into pieces because of the chocolate. But if you want to buy it for yourself and consume it all by yourself, then go for it, right? Here's me wishing all of you a happy mid-autumn festival. Enjoy your mooncakes and yeah, hope to see you guys in the next episode.